The odds are even. It's a beautiful autumn day, and the setting is perfect for a great ball game. The Dartmouth defensive unit demonstrates his great pursuit that enabled it to rank first in the nation in total defense during most of the season. Usually at least once in every series of downs, number 10, Dartmouth's All-American rover back Murray Bowden is involved. For the third play in a row, Captain Murray Bowden is in on the tackle. This interception is made by rover back Murray Bowden. Murray Bowden. by Captain Murray Bowden. moving linebacker Murray Bowden always seems to be in the right spot as he spills another Crusader play for a loss. In 1970, Murray Bowden an impressive 5'11 defensive rover back from Snyder, Texas, captained the Dartmouth football team to an undefeated season. I've been around football a long time, and I've heard, I've asked other people in the Ivy League what kind of football player Murray was, but I could almost tell, just getting to know him, I could tell that he was an outstanding football player. You could go back and, and run into people who knew Murray then, and they their faces lit up like, you know, their hometown hero. It was a very, very talented, very well coached team, and, uh, and it showed. We ended up, I think, 13th in the nation. His play earned him a spot on the All-American team, and eventually a place in the College Football Hall of Fame. I think the first time I met Murray was about 10 years ago when he was inducted into the National Football Foundation College Hall of Fame up in New York. There's no doubt Murray was a great leader in football. He's a great leader in his community, he's a great leader in his business. There's no doubt he was a great leader on that Dartmouth football team. After his college football days, Murray founded the Hanover Company and started building apartments all over the country. I started the company in 1982. I developed a successful apartment project here in Houston, and I ultimately started developing projects around the country. I began with one, and since that time, I have probably developed in about 36 different cities. What Murray really wants us to try and do, and, and I think this kind of gets to the core of who Dad is, which is, he really wants us to create tremendous value for our residents. With the success of Hanover, Murray decided to give back. My grandfather was a, was a charitable man. So I knew from the beginning that giving back to your community is something that should be expected for those who are able to do so. Murray serves as co-chair of the United Way Major Gifts Campaign, served on the board of the Houston Council on Alcohol and Drugs, and serves as vice chairman for the National Football Foundation. He's spending a tremendous amount of time with the College Football Hall of Fame Foundation, which is basically striving to bring out the best in college sports and really highlight what the student athlete is at its best. He's very passionate about it. That's what I love about Murray, about any endeavor. He and I have worked together in United Way activities, and he and I uh, have worked together in the founding of some spinal cord research fundraising that is now well invested in trying to uh, assist people with neurological deficiencies. After hearing Bill Morgan's story and reading his book, Murray decided to get involved with Holocaust Museum Houston and he served on the board of directors. When I went down to the Holocaust Museum, all of a sudden it personalized that whole experience and it was fascinating to me to see all these people, real people who had endured these great horrors and yet were still with us today and were flourishing. And then I started understanding that the museum is wanting to not only be a memorial for those victims, but also to try to take that horrific story and teach lessons such that we don't ultimately repeat that. And I think it's a great part of our community. It's an organization well worth supporting. I would think that if Murray Bowden encountered a dejected person, a person down on his luck, a person who had despair in his heart, Murray would not be able to walk by. Murray is a guy who thinks about friends, who thinks about people that he doesn't know, and who thinks about their welfare. What Dad would like to ultimately say at the end of his lifetime is that he was able to leave the world a better place than when he showed up. And, uh, and I think he's going to have done that very well. Well, I'm not 100% sure what guardian of the human spirit means. Obviously, it's something to do with spirit. When I hear Murray Bowden is receiving an award in regard to spirit, you got the right guy, because nobody has a greater spirit, a greater attitude than Murray Bowden. Holocaust Museum Houston is proud to present Murray Bowden with the 2013 Guardian of the Human Spirit Award.